Good morning from New Zealand. Um, it's first thing in the morning. I just sort of got up, um, and so you know, I haven't had a shower, so that's why I've got the morning here. But I'm working on a writing project and I think I could use some help and this relates to the greater internet community um, or online social media community. Um, it's, a, it's going to be a feature script and it's a really simple premise. Really easy for me to shoot um, because it's really just based around uh, an internet troll. Uh, so you know, it's pretty much just him on a computer and responding to people on screen. And I won't really give away too much of the story. Um, there's a few people that know a little bit more than that, but I don't want to give it all away because, you know, I want to be able to film it before somebody else comes up with the same idea. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for information. I'm doing research on internet trolls um, for this, this writing project, for the script. So I need stories, um, and I don't want them to be uh, stories about stalkers or um, scarily abusive people. Um, I'm just looking for funny experiences that you might have had with internet trolls, because um, it is predominantly a, a comedy, this, um, this script. Um, so yeah, so... I just want stories about the negative trolls that get put in their place, embarrassed, debunked, um, or otherwise diffused from their narcissistic pontifications. So, yeah, nothing too serious, nothing too intense, but if you've got any experiences or you've read anything online about an internet troll um, and it's kind of funny, um, where they're put in place, in their place, um, or they're shown up for what they are, um, that would be really useful for me. So, and I, I think everybody's had some experiences, and um, funnily enough, it's some, it's often pretty easy to shut these people down. And then some people, with some of these internet trolls, it sort of fuels the fire. So, but eventually they can run out of steam, a bit like a. Trump supporter. <laughs> so um, if you have any stories, and I'm sure everybody's got some, or if you've read stories, um, like say nothing too scary or stalkerish or too abusive, you know obviously it's going to be abusive, but uh, you know uh, not those type of trolls that are saying I'm going to kill you or anything like that, I'm really not interested in that. Um, he's not that kind of troll, he's kind of, he's a coward. Um, predominantly rather than a psychopath or a sociopath and you know, we get all types online obviously so if you can email me at visualnz at gmail.com if you have some stories or ideas or links to any any um, conversations online that that are kind of along this line um, or if you're not on my Facebook friends list you can find me um, I'm Samuel Wheeler um, or you can find should be able to find Nocturnal Customs Limited also on Facebook, my business page, and um, you're welcome to PM me, um, send me a private message on either of those. Um, or you can message me on Twitter on Nocturnal NZ. Uh, well, alternatively, you can contact me through my website, nocturnal3d.com. So um, please help, it'd be great. Um, great to hear your stories. Uh, great to hear about these internet trolls um, getting what they deserve or getting getting shut down or, or stopped before um, they cause any real damage because that's essentially what this character is like. And it's going to be a redemption story essentially anyhow. So we don't want him, that's why I don't want it to be too stalkerish or too nasty in the first place because he's got a he's got a sort of change within my story and become a better person. So um, yeah. Please send me your messages, your ideas, your thoughts, your stories, your conversations. Um, um, share away. I'm ready to start writing the script, and it's for me. It's going to be quite a um, a useful one to shoot because I can shoot it quite minimalistically, and but that means that the stories are really important. Um, a lot of the humor is going to come from them. 
So please help. Again, um, you can send me an email, visualnz at gmail.com, Twitter me, nocturnalnz, or Facebook me, and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your ideas and your stories. Okay, thank you.